Hello, welcome back to Ancient Greece with me, by Jingo. Um, and here we are again at the adventure screen, which is a lot less dull than the name suggests. Um, <laughs> more of a roster, I think, rather than an adventure screen. Adventure roster. I joined us last, assuming that you're watching these in order. I mean, there's nothing wrong with not doing, in fact. Um, although it would just seem like a strange thing to do. Um, we've just done Zeus and Europa. Which was where well, we, we made Thebes into a nice city, the Greek Thebes, not the Egyptian Thebes. Although I have made the Egyptian Thebes into a nice city as well. Uh, see, let's play Pharaoh. Now we're going to do Perseus and Medusa. Um, I can't remember what city this is. It would have been nice of them to uh, perhaps have mentioned it somewhere. Only of, of the. Was it of the, of the seven adventures, only one of them actually lists the city you'll be doing. Oh well, let's. Uh, I think it's high time we found out. In a time of darkness, discord reigned in Greece, and the people Ooh. lived apart from each other. Now oh a new day is dawning, and the time has come for a leader to rise up and, for the first time, draw the people together, uniting hey, them hey. in a mighty city. Zeus himself has selected you to achieve this remarkable Me? feat, and has pointed you to a site in the Argolid. The city's name will be Argos. Argos! People will flock to the city to in the Argos, hopes of learning a trade and feeding their families, and they will expect you to provide for them. Other would-be leaders in Greece are also trying to start new cities. Some of them will achieve a modicum of success, while others will fail completely. You might encounter them in your journeys. No doubt I will. Um... Well, that's nice, being picked by Zeus himself. Um, I don't know how it would have appeared to me. Of course, Zeus being immortal, if you, were, if you were to look upon Zeus in his form as it is, he would just burst into flames. So he'd have to appear in some kind of transmogrif trans transmogrified form. Um, this is how he ends up creating demigods. He appears to various women in various guises. He creates the Minotaur by appearing as a... That's like a giant bull, I think. Um, or something like that. He actually um, beds somebody. Not Zeus's mother, is it? Not Hercules' mother, is it? Somebody's mother, anyway. By appearing, transforming himself into the woman's husband. Um, which is quite sneaky, I suppose. Um, I don't know what happens if the husband comes home and sees himself in bed with his wife. That raises a few questions. Anyway, I suppose we want to get on with the city. Here we are. What's there to say about it? I'll slow the game down a bit. What's there to say about it? Well... From the off, I can see there's a lot less farmland to go around. Who said that? Well... I'm quite suspicious of that. I've got a feeling... That looks quite nice. I imagine something nasty is going to happen up there. We've got some marble over here. This looks like a good place to put the foundations of a city. Well, the farmland for the city. I could have a housing block up here. Although, it would make more sense and look more like, more aesthetically pleasing from a city point of view. To have the city develop next to the river, or the sea, or whatever it is. There's me. There's a giant garlic by the looks of it. It's called Ternum. Ternum. Seriously, it looks like an onion. And Ethiopia. Who knew? <laughs> I thought it was somewhere in, in Africa. Um, with Haley Celestia and all that. Um... I know this is Cassiopeia and Ethiopia. Quite possibly a different Ethiopia in the same way that Last City was a different Thebes. Um, anyway, enough jabbering on, I suppose. I'm going to spend money I don't have building a needless road connecting one part of the city to the other. And then... Huh. I can't actually farm. Well, isn't that something? So that settles it. I'm going to have to do a bit of fishing. We'll have the main housing block right about... Ooh. 
I actually want it quite out of the way because I've got a feeling I'm going to be building quite a few sanctuaries in this city. Mm. There's no unrest in the city. Good! I'd be a bit worried if there was unrest in the city. We can actually get quite a lot of fish here because of course we can go either side of the river. And if I was being awkward, I could always build the housing block on that side of the river. But I'm not quite that awkward. Um, despite what people who know me might say. Two, three, four, five, six. After all that thinking, I just seem to have plopped it down randomly. Um, it gives it a nice central feel anyway. Can I build... No, I can't. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a great start. So I don't think it irritates me more than... Well, quite a few things irritate me more than leaving a single gap because I've got the, the road layout the wrong way around. Because then I'm, I'm torn between whether I should fix it or just... Oh, I can't collect taxes. I can't export. So I guess I'd be, I ought to be rather careful with my money. And I can't build a bridge to the side of the river. But what I can do is fish. And that's what I'm going to do. So we'll have... Two... Three fisheries there. Could I have built them a little closer to Mississippi? Yes, I could. And a granary there. Close enough to the housing block to... I don't know. I could potentially just have all my housing around by the sea. It doesn't make sense to build housing all the way over here if... Because it, un unlike farming, fishing only produces small amounts of food at a time, so to cut down on the amount of time that the walkers have to walk there and back, because if the walkers... the cart pushes all the way over there delivering, he's not going to be able to pick up the 100% production over there, so it'll have to be stuck at 100%. I think. Sounds convincing, anyway. I'm going to run with it. So we'll have him there, and we'll have one there. And we'll have an infirmary as well, because... You know, maybe scrapped for cash, but I'm not that scrapped for cash. People like you well enough. Huh, well, that's something. Roadblocks, and then in for a penny, in for a pound, and may as well get started on the carting sheds as well. So we'll have another road coming up and round, and we'll have to start with two, three, four carting sheds. And likewise, I could have the storehouse equidistant. And then the Commodore there with your food and fleece. And given that I can't produce any olive oil and can't trade, it'd be a waste of time spending money on the shop there, so I won't. What's there to say about Argos? I don't know, the only thing I know about Argos is about the store, and I don't know much about that. And I've realised that's probably quite a localised, a localised reference. Argos is a... oh, well, there's a, some farmland up there as well. Can eventually get to it, I imagine. Argos, for those who don't know, is a high street store that has... where you kind of like... Have, it has a catalogue, and then you sort of pick from the catalogue take your number to the checkout and then you give them the number you sort of pick it from the catalogue seven digit code say I want this write it down on sort of a piece of paper take it to the checkout they then 
to press the button, it goes to the stock room, you then go to another place where it's brought out from a warehouse and then delivered to you. Rather than you taking off taking it off the shelf and buying it there and then. It's quite novel. I I quite like it. It's like going to a you know, like a, a lottery where you're guaranteed to win. Or an auction where you've already put the winning bid in. Um I say nobody else has followed the trend, so it can't be that good an idea. But I quite like it. I don't shot that <laughs> I say that I like it, but I'm not gonna give them the business. Perhaps I've not got enough houses. I invited to every symposium it's just as well. I don't think we have any symposiums. Culture. We don't have any philosophers. We just we just don't do philosophy, we do drama. We do drama! Oh, I have to stream more often this time of night. I'm being quite, uh, quite frivolous. Um, they've got one employee. They're feeling like they need some more houses. That's a really modest sized housing estate, isn't it? Compared to what I usually build, anyway. Employees do need. Oh, I'm only short by more than half the required employees. That's fine. Let's pay some people. People think I'm the cat's meow. What's the goal? I never actually do. 500 people, I didn't looked at the goals. 500 people in Homestead are better. Produce 20 skeins of fleece in one year. And yearly profit of 500. Presumably I'm going to start trading at some point. Because as it stands... The shepherds are refusing to leave the Harding Shed. Can't blame them. Ten drachma per sheep. It's a bug. Uh, I never actually counted how many sheep there are per carding, per carding shed. I think it's around six. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here counting sheep because, the, especially this time of night, it's a very real danger. I might fall asleep. <laughs> um, lovely. So they're now they're now doing something. You accept fleece, at least half a yard, and you can accept olive oil. Again, at least at least half a yard, half a yard, half a yard. Well, I could have put that somewhere more efficient. I'm not going to lie. But the aim is to have. Ooh. Probably one of the immortals. I never recalled that before. Well, I must, be, I must be fairly immortal if Zeus is talking to me. Frozen discovered. Or treason? Explorers have returned from their exploits to report they have discovered a place called Trozen. Tra 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 there it is. There's not much to say about it, really. It's just a dot on the map. We've got an onion, and then we've got a city the other side of the Aegean Sea. Named after King Aegis, who threw himself in the sea when Theseus returned back from killing the Minotaur, but forgot to take the black sails down. So it's like just his father died because of a kind of a misunderstanding. So he went over and he said, King Aegis said to Theseus, look, if anything happens... Come back with black sails now. Though something's gone wrong. How Theseus was supposed to put the black sails on us if he'd been killed by a minotaur? I'm not sure. But that was the plan. And I just like that. I like that little thing about Greek mythology. It's like a major, a major political figure dies because of a slight misunderstanding or a slight mishap. Right, we've got some food now. Not much, but enough to upgrade our housing. If it feels like I'm developing quite slowly, that's just as well, because I can't do anything until these places develop anyway. 
That fish went a long way. Troisian, tro Troasian, tre Tresen blooms, blossoms. Um, under the leadership of Pythias, growing into a significant city. I'll be the judge of that. And no longer isolated from the rest of Greece or the world. One and the same thing. And they've already allied me. That's nice. They don't buy or sell anything, but it's, it's nice that they're there nonetheless. <coughs> Uh, perhaps I ought to have done something about that. Oh well. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know you actually bought any. They don't buy much, but it's enough. So we'll have a trading post. And let's sell 12 skeins of fleece. I mean, look at the look at the profit. Six, Sixty drachma. Also, I haven't really got the people for it either. I'll put in a couple more housing, but I am conscious of the fact I'll need to put more services in when homestead. That's what we need. Five hundred people in homestead. We're going to achieve that fairly quickly. It's taking a long time to get people fed up. I mean, you know. All hail my hearty crew. Poseidon will soon wonder where all his fish went. Gar. What else do you got to say? I'm hungrier than Erisichthon. I wonder if anyone would notice if I made off with some fish. <laughs> I would. And who's Erisician? Oh, I suppose we ought to look into that. So, produce enough food for... Zero people. I suppose you wonder what they're doing. Oh, we have enough for 1,200 people. Make your mind up. And uh, what about the jobs front? I can cut the wage bill now, which is nice. Like, massively. And we can also get some more fisheries on the go, because I don't think this is particularly efficient. Heh, <laughs> efficient. Fish efficient. Uh, that's better. See, now I'm producing zero again. I'm short by 79 employees. But that should get better as all these houses have... Oh, no problem. And good to see that we're more interested in selling goods than to other people than satiating our own needs. than a finger in the eye. That's the spirit. Food from the Gora. Yeah, we're having trouble with that. And we have produced enough for 1188 people now. Possibly, I don't know. It's a very inefficient way of farming, of creating food. Here we go, we've got some real food now. It just got mixed with mine, but it's gone from 396 to 1980 now. It's a shame, I, I used to, I sometimes rely on that for planning. I've really thought twice about it now. How much fish have we got now? Still only six. Could we hold some of the spinning, please? The spinning is really making me ill here. Um, we've not actually made a profit. But we'd have produced 32 skeins of fleece. That's something.
What profit have we made? 480... 307? Oh, we should do that by the end of the year. Should we can't tax people. We collected extra 111. But what we can do is stop paying them. In fact, I wonder how low I can get away with not paying them. Oh, very low, that's nice. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling. Thank you. There we go, we've got, we've got some real fish production now. Oh, I need more water. Those, those two are useless. Yeah, look how small the housing block is, and they still can't get everybody water to everybody. You're not as popular as you were. Good. This city is in the best shape, and you Thank look you. marvelous. <laughs> you want fleece? I've got fleece. I could probably um, start paying the people again now. What do we need to do now? Uh, still need more people in the homesteads. You're worried about the appeal of the neighborhoods. Aren't we all? There we go. And they need to make some money. So spending all that money in the park wasn't the best of ideas. Hmm. Okay, this year's the year. I'm not paying my people very much, and I'm selling a lot of fleece. Got a bit of a strange noise these people were making. And look at all that fish. In fact, I'm going to build a second granary. Popularity is beginning to sink. Perhaps it's time I'm raising the wages again. Alright. Very low. Some of that people are still arriving. I mean, they're not paying tax, so everything they earn is all theirs. I'll put another carding shed in, because that's not a bad idea. I'll build it there. Since these people seem to be using it as a thoroughfare... I won't put road there either, because needless in a second. Right, they should hopefully just spread out uh, naturally into the nearest meadow. Ooh. There's some real money in fleece now, it's 67. Mm. I mean, it's the kind of stuff that respectable cities buy. So the vendor was like, hurry up with those goods. And I was like, whatever. The vendor's such a dork. <laughs> Doric dork. Oh, I got it in there. Such a Doric. Um, ooh. I could build a population monument, but I don't think these people deserve it. Oh, fine. Okay, you've got no grounds to complain whatsoever. When it plums 19%. See, this is what happens when I pay people too much. I 
don't know why I'm storing so much food. It just seems like the thing to do. At least, if they all take the fish over there, if the need arises that I need to build a housing estate over here for some reason, um, they can just get the food from over there, but these people won't travel very far to deposit here. Or something like that. I'm basically just passing the time. Right, yearly profits. 320. I've got to stop building. I have really got to stop building. Like I said, it'd be a lot easier if I didn't have to A, pay my people, or B, tax them. I didn't think this would take this long, I'll be honest. Um, right. Fingers on hands. I'm just going to turn the speed up. Allegedly. I've even got my arms folded. I'm not even touching the mouse. So he's going to come in, he's going to buy his fleece, now at an inflated price. And he's going to do something similar. Now that's more like it, that's, that's like, ooh, I don't know, it's edging, it's edging out a bit. Well, it's pretty touch and go. Who thought balancing budgets could be so exciting? But trying to make a meagre profit off a fleece. Right, there's only so much capacity for one more trading chap and there he is so if he buys eight schemes that takes total profit up to 1100 and that should be that Argos is on its way to becoming a great city, and even the residents of Mount Olympus have begun to take I notice. I was there. Well, that took <laughs> a shockingly, um, I took a shocking amount of time, I'll be honest. <laughs> How long does that take? About f four years? Just to build some huts and a, 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 a meager export industry. Oh, well. At least we've got the foundations for a more exciting city later on. Talking of more exciting cities, let's see what happens next.